We are back with another build video. Last video, I put the brushless motor in and the ESC and I ran it and it ran pretty good. I ran it on 2S, but this video is about this right here. We're getting rid of that steering motor and all the gears that are in there. And we're gonna put in this MG90S. These are dirt cheap, they're metal gears but they're dirt cheap. I got two of them for like 10 bucks, but this is the servo that we're gonna be putting in here. So let's get started. So there you see all the steering gears and we're gonna take all of those out. In fact, I'll just do it right now. And we'll even take the motor out. And as you can see, there is a slot right there. And when we put our servo in, we want the servo horn to go right down through that slot. So we're gonna have to trim out most of this stuff in here. And we're also gonna have to cut the tabs off of the servo. And then when we get it in place, we're gonna use double-sided tape and we're just gonna pinch it in there when we put this cap on. So it's time to do some cutting. Okay, it took a little bit. It looks ugly, but you can't see it from the outside. Now I'm gonna wanna trim the tabs on this servo. I want that servo horn to be center in this slot here. Let's see how I did. Pretty snug in there. The only thing is, I don't think I have enough room for the servo horn, unless I don't put this screw in. That's the only way. If I cut this out here, then I can slide it back a little bit. So the servo horn is supposed to go into here. It's actually too wide. So I'm gonna shave this down on each side so that way it slips right in there. <laughs> There we go. So this spring just gets in the way. We don't need it because the servo springs back to the center anyway when you let go of the steering wheel. Let's test this out. Let's see if we... Should have enough strength to pull the wheel straight again when you let go. Last thing we have to do before we put this cap on is we have to get rid of these little pieces here because the servo's too thick. You see that gap there? I have this all hollowed out. So now I want to put the double-sided tape on. Put that right in there like that. Put this lid on right like that. Should be enough pressure there with the screws to hold it in place. Opposite corners is what mounts to the chassis. This hole we got rid of just because we needed that space. And then this screw here is another screw just to hold the cap down. Hopefully it works. We'll find out if it really works once we put the wheels and tires on, which that we can do right now. Okay, final test, but now we have proportional steering. I'm gonna put the back wheels on this and just dry this a little bit here on the table just to test it out. Oh. All right, it's, it's coming along now. So now we have proportional steering to go along with the proportional throttle. And that's where I'm gonna end this video right now. 
The next video, we're gonna put this battery compartment in. I'm either going to keep this switch in and solder the wires from this switch, or I'm gonna take this apart and take this out, this switch out and put this one in. But I think the easiest thing to do is snip this off and solder it onto this switch. And that should work like the normal stock switch. And then I have to cut all this out too, so we could fit all this stuff inside here. And then once this is in and the switch is in, we have to figure out where we're gonna put all the electronics so that way the body will fit onto this car. So thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you on the next part of this toy grade to hobby-ish grade upgrade series.